All right, behind me right here is our model home. This is called the Austin. It's an eight by 20. Loving this house, it's good. Do a quick tour. As you guys can see, our model homes are real distinct because we use an LP lap siding, an LP trim, and it's offset. So we got 13 color variations that you can choose from. But the gables up here has got the board and batten. And then this is the lap siding. Now this Austin, we sell them without dormers. So this is like our old RJOs. If you guys remember our, our RJOs, but what we did is we beefed it up a little bit. We put the LP siding all the way around it. We use big freeze boards, as you can see right here. This is a fascia board. Now, that triangle whiteboard is called a freeze board. We put these decorative lights up here. Then we've got the stain grade polyurethane uh, soffit underneath. And that gives it such a contrast. And then, of course, our beautiful corbel brackets that we have here. Then the other thing what I like to do is I put on here these faux rafter tails that stick out. I've been to California years ago. You go some some homes all over across the country that are built back in the 20s and the 30s, and these are called craftsman-style homes. So we've tried to bring that home into a tiny home. You can see we don't have any fenders. This home would be great on a permanent foundation. Jack it up, pull your axles out, Put a. you can put block, you can anchor it down just like a regular home if that's what you would like to do. Now this is an eight foot wide home. It's going to be a little bit wider because we put gutters on our homes. It's going to stick out two inches on each side. So as you come around here, you can see our vents were up here. We got our 3040 windows. This is, we're going to go inside. And as you guys walk around the other side, look here. Hey, we got movie stars. Take yeah. it away, Tom. All right. I'm not, <laughs> I couldn't hear what he was talking about, <laughs> but eight by 20 uh, RJO style. But of course it's the new model with the corbels and the overhangs and, and all that. Uh, on this model, we don't have a tongue box, so we've got a 115 Mitsubishi 9000B2 mini split, uh, heavy duty 8,000 pound tongue jack. Uh, it's sitting on uh, two six lug, uh, 5,200 pound axles. Got the diamond coat, diamond coat siding. I think this is seal color, if I remember right. Uh, white trim. We've got the natural tongue and groove for all the soffits. And uh, we'll bring you around this side here. We've got dryer vents, uh, hose bib on the exterior, and we've got a light that goes there. We didn't put it on because travel, they stick out about 12 inches. So we left that on the inside in the box. And then if you come around here, it's got the RGO style where it's got the kitchen on one side, bathroom on the other, and a 30 inch 2.6 entry door. Yeah, come on in, we'll show them the inside. You too, Albert. We're tag team in this video today and uh, we're going to show you more of the guys that work here what's going on but just like tom said so the rjo what's real distinct about this is you got two foot wide um cabinets mm -hmm. then you got a 32 inch shower it, if you don't watch it it leaves real minimal space here so yeah let me open that up and everything in here is finished the walls are painted all the trim is urethane, gives it a contrast. We also throw the sink on the wall, 32 inch shower, full toilet, exhaust fan, plugs. It's just gorgeous. And man. these models have the elongated toilet on them. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah. The elongated toilet on all the models. So we kind of kind of beefed it up a little bit on this. I'm going to show you the, uh, the countertop. This, we curve this in. So this door will actually shut. You can see there's just enough trim to put this door in. Now, a lot of times we put the refrigerator here, you know, but this one, we actually, this is more of a custom home. Still, this is not an actually model, but we've turned it into a, a model design. Right. Yeah. What? Models with a few things that are custom still. Yeah. 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 We're, that's the last of our custom homes that are going out, but people have chosen to take our model design and add to it. This is the farm style sink. They come on all of our models now. Was it 24? Yeah. 25 inches. Yep. So a 25 inch farm style sink, cooktop range hood, microwave stand with a plug up top, 2030 window. What do you got? Eight foot countertop. Yep. The bathroom's eight feet. See, if you go eight and eight, and this is a 20 foot house, I mean, what do you got? Eight minus 20. What is 12. that? 12. 12. 12 feet. And then also <laughs> this cooktop is, all of them are 120. So the whole house can be run off 30 amp, 120. Yes. Yeah, yeah. you don't need 220, big hookup, yeah. small generator. Runs yep. the whole house if yep. you need to. 
Yeah, let's walk in this here. Let me show you how big this room is. Now this has got a stackable washer and dryer. Yep. Well, how big is that, Tom? That usually we make that. 24 wide by 76 tall. And then of course, 27 wide. They, they go from 24 to 27 really, but we try to do on the bigger, so that way whatever you buy will fit. Right. Okay. And then in here, you guys can see what we've done. All the all the trim now is done. This home cleared is yeah. It's all clear coated. The ceiling's done. Look at the beautiful ceiling up there. All that's clear coat. All of it. yeah. Pre finished. Oh, pre finished. Yeah. We buy it pre finished. And so this living room from the end of that countertop is twelve foot long. So you take if you took just that twelve by eight, which is a little bit less than eight, is what's twelve times eight? Ninety six. Ninety six. So you got a hundred square feet. I live in 128 square feet. Yeah. My whole house is 128. This is a hundred square feet of just living room. So that gives you an idea. You know, you don't have a dormer, so this is gonna be a bedroom. Mm -hmm. So where'd you put your bed? Right here. And then you could also do 80 square feet and then have a little dining area right here next to the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where, well, how about the fridge? I would assume they're gonna do an under counter over there on that side. Well, that's where the water heater is. Okay. Well, then they're going to put the refrigerator right there. They're going to put the refrigerator right there. <laughs> That's right. So you're going to put the fridge right here. Okay. Yeah. Washer, stackable washer and dryer. So from here back, I mean, think about it. An 8 by 20, you got a stackable washer and dryer, a refrigerator, full cooktop. you got a farm style sink, full bathroom with a sink in the bathroom. Now, this is a loft, and this is going to be accessible with a ladder. No, uh, the stairs. So that's usually done with storage. We don't, you know... We don't say, hey, that's a sleeping loft just because there's no access. No we egress. Yeah. 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 We also got a sprinkler system mm -hmm. up here, water, and a mini split. And that comes with all of our models. That right there, you get the mini split, the sprinkler system, everything. This is, this is ready to move in. Yep, definitely. And that's a ton of storage. If you're not sleeping up there, that is a lot of storage for any oh. Christmas clothes winter clothes that's all got that. more than our sheds yeah that's if right if you think about the volume that's the up depth, there you know yeah. and of course this has a ceiling on it too yeah so you can decorate put a tv fold down mm, anything you want that's true there. you know i noticed there's two plugs in here yeah you could actually take a plug from there and run and drill you a hole right here and hang a tv here right see mm -hmm. the two plugs yeah or on the wall or something so you could access for a tv i like that yeah so these two plugs Typically, uh, the stack units are, I mean, they can be 110 or 220. Okay. All right. So yeah, yeah. we'll run a number 10 wire for, in case it's a 220 unit. Yeah. You'd have to upgrade to a 50 amp cord on your main supply, but the wire should be run. So if you have either way, Perfect. either one. Yeah. Yeah. So we, you can take that out and put a 220 if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah. Now, if they did a 220 on here, because the house is wired for 110, right? No, the house is hired for. Double up, pull. Up to 240, Just yeah. on your plug outside. The twist lock is ready for it. So it depends on what cord you Got it. purchase. So you can swap the 30 amp 110 over for a 30 amp 220. Yeah. And then have a 220 washer and dryer. All you have to do is buy a cord. Just have the cord connect outside. Yeah. Got it. And then you guys can see right here how everything's labeled. Look at all the circuits in here. That's just crazy. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 circuits in this little house. Yeah. Well, we do two in the kitchen in case you want to have a coffee maker on one side or, or whatever that may mm -hmm. use a lot. And then, of course, the bathroom has its own if you have a hair dryer in there or whatever you, you may have. We do it right. I remember somebody had bought a house and they said they had one or two breakers in a whole house. Yeah, we can't do that. I mean, one or two breakers. I mean, you're going to plug in a couple things and blow, blow a fuse. Yeah, so a typically breaker. we'll have one in the living room, bathroom, two kitchen. Washer and dryer's got two options. Yeah. And then we usually run one upstairs if there are dormers and all that. Yeah. Because they're going to have maybe yeah. a heater or a cell phones and stuff. And the refrigerator. Mini, oh, yeah. yeah. Mini split's on its own. Mini split. The refrigerator's on its own. The water heater will be on its own. And then microwave. We got, yeah, a microwave. And then you've got one under the house. Exterior. And then two outside. Yeah. I... When it comes to electrical, we have never done an electrical plan. We just know we fill them up just in this house, just in this one room, 100 square feet. Albert, show them. One, two, three, four, five plugs. And yeah. this one over here is number six, and this is probably for a fridge. fridge yeah. And this is a dedicated circuit right there. So 
I'm glad we're going over the electrical because that shows a lot what we do. And we fill all of our models, all of our homes full of this stuff. It's exactly the way a foundation home's done. There you go. Yeah, like no the difference. kitchen. Two circuits in every kitchen we do. Yeah. Because you're going to have a hot plate, coffee maker, mm -hmm. a, a, um, a crock pot, or an Instapot going. And yeah. If you don't have two circuits, you're going to pop it. Air fryer, Air toaster, fryer, anything toaster, like that. Lord, man. Yeah. So... There you guys got it. This is our model home, 8x20 Austin. Go on our website, check out the price. Love it. Now we're yep. going to do another one coming back Friday. I'll be gone until Tuesday, but maybe Tom will do a video on it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show it's got dormers on it. And it's going to show you how we do our dormers. I hope it's a different color scheme because we got 13 color schemes to choose from. Right. And these are done very quickly. So if you guys are looking for a home and you want a home, we can mm -hmm. get you a home before spring. I'd say, yeah, because the ones that we have on our books now, the, the builders we have set up, I yeah. mean, we're talking into spring being completed. March, April, we could have yeah. a home. So, yeah. yes, we're going to start throwing these models out. I know we've been spending a lot of time on the Incredibox. Now we got some model homes coming back. Yeah. We got Lexington coming. This is an Austin. We got another Austin with dormers. Birmingham. We got a Birmingham being built here next, and one up there coming next, back. Coming back next week. Oh, I'm excited. That's yeah. going to be cool. Yeah. All right, everybody. Come see us, please. If you want to come, we love you coming and visiting us. Come in a busload. We will take care of you. We want you to show you what we do. We're proud of what we have, all right? So thank you. Subscribe, thumbs up, comments. <laughs> Let us know what you think of this video and these homes, and uh, we'll get back with you. All right, have a great day.